What's up, everybody? It's Re or Rebel Inks Art, and we've officially reached the end of my backlog. I'm like a little bummed because apparently past Re didn't record all of the prints I did, which like, I get, because sometimes you just want to work on a picture and not worry about recording, but I wish I would have recorded that She-Ra print. Oh well. What better way to finish off this print palooza then, than with fan art of something I haven't drawn in seven years? And oof, seven years has been kind. That's right, y'all, it's Vocaloid time. Hatsune Miku, of course, because who else would you draw? I'm behind on my anime and was asking my friend what I should do of prints for, like, anime-wise stuff, and I got recommended Hatsune Miku, mostly as a joke, but then Izzy pointed out the Sakura skin and for her, and, like, I'm a sucker for pastels, y'all. Izzy also recommended I have her holding a parasol instead of a mic, but I tried that and thought it sucked, so it got scrapped. If only I didn't suck at umbrellas, but you can't win them all. For the most part, this print was just pink, pink, and more pink. I knew I wanted to work in some cooler tones to break it up, and that meant changing the design a little bit. Namely, I gave her blue eyes instead of the normal pink ones, and then used the same color for her tie clips in the background. In any drawing, it's important to make sure you have both warm and cool colors going on, otherwise the whole thing just becomes one monochrome mess. Honestly, this whole print was just a bizarre trip. I haven't drawn anything Vocaloid since 2012, and while I was working on this, I went back and rewatched a bunch of anime I liked from the same time frame too. Just had one big nostalgia binge. It was definitely some kind of therapeutic, but I don't know if it was the good kind of therapeutic. There wasn't anything too exciting about this picture in the end. After all, pastels and soft shading is kind of my whole wheelhouse. It was just a fun, easy print to work on amid my more challenging prints. And it's always good to revisit an old friend. A lot of this year has been allowing myself to embrace all the old, cringy stuff I used to like. I'll never discredit anyone for liking this stuff, it'd be super hypocritical, but I've always been a little slow to admit that I enjoyed it too. I've always been really anxious about other people's opinions of me, and I never wanted to mention how much I liked stuff like Vocaloid or Homestuck or Legend of Zelda. But there's nothing wrong with the joy I used to get out of this stuff. I honestly miss the days I could just love shit unapologetically. Maybe one day, Miku. Maybe one day we can be together again. It was genuinely nice to return to the stuff I've been kind of quiet about for years, though. It makes me want to go back and do more stuff that I used to be into. No, god, that's not me confirming a Homestuck print, but, like, maybe I'll doodle some stuff in the future, I don't know. I'm in a nostalgic mindset, is all. With all that said and done, schedules will return back to normal. Monday's video will probably be mostly speed paint still, since I am working on those still. But Friday we'll see the return of the character design challenge, so get very, very, very hyped. God knows I am. I've got ideas. Thank you all for watching, of course, and as always, have a great day, eat some great food, and make some great art. Though now that I'm thinking about it, a homestuck print isn't the worst idea.